Hi folks, Kirby here. Um, I wanna do an extremely important video um, on why you should not, or why you should be cautious before you step in and take the sacrament of 5-MeO-DMT. Why you should not take the sacrament, right? We see a lot of marketing and advertisements and you know, the positives of these. And I think that's fantastic because there's a lot of positives that come from the sacrament, of course. But there's also some potential negative effects um, that could be life altering. And I think that we're not discussing that. And I want that to be part of the discussion because I think moving into this, you need to have all the information, all the information so you can do your due diligence and make a decision if this is the right sacrament for you. And are you ready for the change it will provide? Okay. Let's start with the fact that it's called the God molecule. Okay, if that doesn't create a pause for you, I don't know what will. It is the strongest psychedelic, period. It is the strongest psychedelic. It will change you. And again, the question is how, and are you ready for that? So understanding what the sacrament does, in my opinion, again, when you're under the medicine, you're under the sacrament, all these layers of energy, trauma, <clears throat> depression, anxiety, just everything that we've experienced in our life is this energetic layer. As it's going through you and as you're under the sacrament, it is dissolving these energetic layers. It's dissolving these. They will be removed. Those are part of your ego. They are part of your personality. They are part of what makes you you. <clears throat> Obviously, when these are dissolved, that will change you. Okay? Some of the heaviest, heaviest um, recoveries are folks that um, are dealing with heavy traumas. A big trauma is religious trauma. So, again, understanding that your religion, your faith is a huge foundation of everything that you are. Okay? When that gets removed, what are you? So, I've got specific incidents of folks, again, going into the sacrament, taking the sacrament, having their thoughts on religion, their experience with God, their true connection with God happen, and then that religious thoughts, those religious foundation just got blown to smithereens. If you don't think that's gonna take you some time to recover from, you'd be incorrect. For this particular person, it took about two weeks. Um, and that's not an uncommon case. To have, again, your entire foundation of reality blown away and then you're left there on the mat trying to figure out who you are now now the beauty of that is what's there is your authentic self that's the beauty of the sacrament however are you pre prepared to deal with that do you have a place where you could integrate this do you have time to integrate this and do you have a support group to help you integrate this if not this is not the sacrament for you Religious trauma is just one of them. It's trauma in general. Again, being called the God molecule, when you visit source, go to heaven, have this near-death experience, whatever you want to call it, um, it's going to end what you think about reality. Again, are you comfortable with that? So, some of the side effects are people want to leave their jobs. They want to leave relationships. They want to leave a lot of these old patterns that they've been living. This is a huge upheaval in your life. Again, are you ready for that? So, again, I've had folks, literally, I'm just emailing a young lady right now that took it four days ago. Still struggling. Still struggling. So, if you think this is a sacrament that you can take, and then within a couple hours, hmm, I'm good, and go back to your normal existence. In some cases, you can. That's not the best use of the molecule, but in some cases, you can. You need to provide yourself at least three to four solid days of integration, and you need to have an emergency plan where if you need more than that, you have access to that. Then you can start strongly considering whether this is the right molecule for you. Are you prepared for the change that's going to take place? That's why, again, before we serve anybody, we have very, very in-depth conversations with people about their status, their mental health, their relationships, their work status, you name it. This will change it. Okay? So I do not want people going into this lightly. This is not psilocybin. This is not cannabis. This is not ayahuasca. This medicine will put you offline. Dramatic changes will happen while you're under the medicine. And then you'll be rebooted and reborn. What comes back from that, 
will be more of your authentic self than went into it. But again, are you or your loved ones prepared for that? You really need to question that. So there's the warning. Again, this is a beautiful molecule. I absolutely love this molecule, but I'd be dishonest if I didn't say there's concerns that come with it. And again, it's a strong change. It will change you. It will be a dramatic change. And you just need to make sure that you're ready for that dramatic change and you have the support structure in place for it. Hope that's beneficial. Thanks for listening.